Hi, welcome back to another Bite Forever video. So there, this is a ZX81 video. Uh, we're going to look at Mcoder and a little breakout game that I've been writing. So Mcoder, it's a utility I found on a website called ZX81 Stuff. I think it was uh, it was published in about 1982, uh, something like that. And it allows you to compile basic programs, which I I never knew was a thing. Um, so the computer, when you power it on, it essentially uh, loads to a, a basic prompt, um, allows you to type in programs. Now, ZX81, unlike the ZX Spectrum, ZX81 basic is quite slow. I mean, slower than, you know, other a lot slower than other contemporary microcomputers at the time. And um, but this this utility allows you to compile basic programs and run them as if they were sort of machine code. So and yeah, um let's just dive into this. Uh, load Mcoder. It actually says Mcoder is now loaded, which is quite handy. <laughs> so if you do list at this point, it's actually gone into fa um fast mode which means you get the uh, flashing screen and stuff when you when you press enter like I just did there and actually when you do list you don't see much of the program um, it's kind of hidden by some weird character so if you do list 10 or even actually list um, 2 because there is some code above there um, and uh, what you have to do if you uh, want to compile a basic program, first load mcoder. And I think if you want to run this anytime you want to run your basic code, I think you have to have mcoder loaded because it has a whole runtime, loads of routines, things to sort of speed up, things like um, scroll and screen. Um, so uh, the next thing you need to do is load your uh, program. So I've actually got breakout game that I was writing. I think I've called it um, B4, because that was the fourth. Actually, that wasn't the fourth version. I had a file name called break, uh, break one, and then up to break nine, I think, and I decided to just shorten it because it got tedious typing it in. So B4 is the fourth iteration of it being called B. Um, so this is my breakout program. So um, effectively what this is, is um, oh, again, um, what you have to do is uh, leave alone the first um, few lines of code. So if you just uh, list 10, I think that's where my basic program starts. So breakout, for those of you who don't know, essentially what you've got is a bat at the bottom, a play area, and then um, you've got to sort of um, keep hitting oh, there's a ball that, that flies around and uh, you've got to keep hitting that uh, ball back up the screen uh, this earlier i oh, know I've, I've quite a few revisions but eventually the proper game we have blocks at the top which you have to destroy and then your score increases now uh, this this is like at an early stage where yeah you basically you've got to keep the ball bouncing up the screen so it's a bit like the football game uh, keep it up where you just kind of kick it up and down between loads of people. So this, yeah, so you can actually run this this basic code and you'll see, um, so if you do uh, run 10, um, they give you an idea of a difference in speed. So there's, so the keys on this are um, Z to move the bat, which is that, move that left and right. And um, that's basically, uh, the only key. So if if you if you let the ball uh, go past the bat, then um, as we'll see here, it will say game over. Yeah. So that's an idea. You can see it's quite slow. The ball's kind of flickering quite a bit. So to actually compile this, what you do is um, according to instructions anyway, you make sure firstly you're in uh, slow mode. Um, so there's no flashing on the screen and then it's let L equal 17 3 
A9. Oh, sorry, no, got that wrong. <laughs> it's uh, user 1738. Can't, can't type properly. <laughs> um, yep. So, what that does is it's uh, attempting to compile this. You get a question mark after each screen, um, and you keep pressing the L key, and it does like three passes. You see it went back to the top and the line numbers kind of wrapped around again. And then this is the third pass. So actually that is compiled now to a program which um, if you want to run it, <laughs> which you'll have a go at, which is obviously the whole aim of this. Um, so let L equal, it's a similar thing. So user, I'm not sure why you can't just do uh, rand. Uh, yeah, um, so I'm not sure why um, you can't just do uh, like print rand, uh, yeah, and then the, this code. But um, so so that's what you have to do to run it and then get ready because I think last time I tried this it was so fast I couldn't actually go from the enter key to see the ball it's actually moving so fast it actually, I think this, this game actually needs some delays in there um, but yeah uh, let's just let's just list the code again so uh, people who are playing along at home <laughs> Uh, so that's the first page, list 137, whoops, and then that's it, so it's kind of, it's a fairly short basic program really, if you were to write that in pure assembly code it would be quite a bit more, I know if you, if you had a C compiler or if you did like a cross compile, uh, developing it on a PC it would be uh, probably similar length, um, I've actually had to, one limitation, which is a little bit annoying, was that, um, and you can get around the limitations, no problem, uh, like this what line 180, if, uh, so previously, first time I called it up, I had if x um, less than b, and, oh sorry, I think, yeah, I think it was an or actually, yeah, x less than b, or x greater than or equal to n, uh, then go to line 550, um, but yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't cope with or or and statements, uh, so you have to sort of split them up. Um, that's why I've got a few go tos which is kind of repeated there. You see there. Oh, another thing was reading the key, uh, the keyboard. So it's just list ten again to show. I think it's further up. So yeah, normally you'd use on the ZX eighty one you'd use in key. Uh, now. Uh, there's some sort of limitations with string processing um, and it, it says uh, what you have to do, you can't just do if in key equals, um, you know, a character, so like equals quote Z for left and quote M for right. So you have to use if code and that, convert, that actually sort of con converts in key into um, a character code. So 63 happens to be the letter Z on the ZX81. So yeah, there are a couple of limitations. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty quick uh, when it runs. Uh, so quick, I, like I say, I'll probably need to put some, um, you know, some uh, delays in there even. Um, so let's, let's just run it again. Um, user... 18823 and that's right and then runs your code see if I can last longer than now <laughs> so um, if I was to carry on with this game I think yeah the next thing to do is put sort of an area there full of blocks that it'll, um, uh, you can destroy with the uh, ball so could I actually do that now I'm not sure let's I'll do, I'll, I'll pause for a bit and then uh, try and code that up. 
So yeah, I've started to code this up. It's actually probably a bit more straightforward than I thought. So what we're going to do is just populate the top of the screen, um, maybe the top third with uh, black blocks that we're going to, uh, or even actually I'll try using um, you know, the, the grey blocks. Uh, so line 92, this is in the initialization part. So we're going to do, if, uh, I think we'll try a nested for loop. I'm not actually sure whether... <laughs> whether this will work um, with the uh, encoder, but uh, line, so line, let's do sort of running out of space a little bit, um, uh, but we'll carry on anyway. Let's, let's just do line 93. It's not a good idea in basic to do that, because if you want to insert a line, especially in ZX81, you'd have to shuffle all lines down. Now you can get like a thing called, um, like a renumber, which is fairly useful, like another utility you can run. Um, so line uh, 93, so we'll do another for loop. So basically we want um, to go across the row, that's 1 to 14, and then uh, print at, but we also want to go down sort of five lines. So let's say, so 0 on the ZX81, 0, 0 is the top left. Uh, so we'll go, again, we'll go 1 because we've got, um, we've got the, uh, play area border uh, to think about so go one two uh, let's say uh, we'll probably do six six rows it's probably gonna be all right oh no and I've, that's actually a <laughs> syntax error so um variable i want to use i think maybe v oh and the other thing it only lets you have single character variables as well uh which is another bit of a limitation but it's so like 93, 94, um, so we want to do print and then uh, the at, so that's a function on letter C, and I think it's column, if I remember rightly, well what have we got here, so the H is vertical, so I think it's uh, it's row and then column, so I think we really, really want to do um, uh, V, well, it doesn't actually matter uh, because uh, as long as we, oh yeah, as long as we get it right way around actually, yeah. So V is the row in this case. So V and then um, I semicolon and then this is going to use just a uh, think. Oh no, that's wrong. Uh, it's that one. So that's uh, going to graphics modes and then. Type shift G. Let's see what that does. So, you can, so instead of just compiling every time, we can just uh, we just go to ten, and that'll just run it as if it's basic. Um, it, well, it is basic. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, syntax error. So, uh, break out of that list. Uh, I think it was like ninety two. So. I've just basically, I forgot to put the um, the next in, so for the end of four loops so of like 95, um, next V, so we'll do the inner loop first, and 90, 96, as I say, I wouldn't, if you're going to, if you're going to write a basic program, I would try and put them in increments of uh, 10, the line numbers, but, um, you know, uh, <laughs> Just for the purposes of this, I think we'll get away with it. So, um, I might actually just save that. So, save B5. Uh, dot P. Just save it to the SD card. Uh, go to 10. So, hopefully, that will give us all the blocks. So, it's actually drawing it um, row wise, uh, row first. Let's just see what it does when you run it, when it's actually running. So it, it should um, actually destroy the blocks as it is now. This isn't, there's there's more logic needed obviously because proper breakout game, um, the ball would bounce off the first block. It, it destroy the block but bounce off it. So this isn't, um, this isn't quite there yet. Um, but yeah, uh, well, we'll just break out of that again. So again, to uh, compile that, so 
Uh, you, what you have to do again is uh, let L equal uh, USR, which is shift uh, function, and then the L key, 17, 389. So we'll find out now if it actually has any errors in that. And yep, yeah, seems okay so far. It's got past uh, that bit, so that's fine. Nested four loops appear to be fine. And then it's doing the rest of it on second pass, third pass. Apparently, you could actually get a, one of these for ZX Spectrum as well. This this particular type of program, I'd never, I don't know what it is yet, but. Um, so let L equal um, user 18823, that's right, and again look it draws it uh, quite a bit faster and <laughs> as before uh, basically failed straight away. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go, that was just a, a run through of uh, this mcode utility uh, the people who wrote this um hats off to you if anyone any of them are uh, still still around uh, and watching youtube maybe they'll stumble onto this but yeah this really uh, cool utility i've enjoyed uh, running it um doing experimenting with it um yeah so uh, again thanks for watching and bye for now